Okay, welcome again. In this uh, video, we'll cover the first assignments to complete before the semester starts or within the first week of the semester for 740. Uh, this is the agenda. I'll talk about background brush up assignments that are due September 6th, although you should feel free to do this during the course of the entire semester, but it's better to do some things before September 6th. I'll talk about homework zero, which is the student information sheet we require from everyone, which is due September 6th. I'll talk about the paper review set. The first review set will be out, which will be due September 9th, when our classes or recitations will actually start. And I'll talk about the readings to prepare you for research and report writing, which, will, which you will be doing uh, during the semester. First, let's take a look at the background brush-up assignments. I had covered this in another video, but I'll cover it again for your information. There is one single required video for background, which is the first lecture of uh, 18447, which was taught in the spring 2013 by me. This is about the basics of computer architecture. You're required to watch it, and you're required to watch it by September 6th so that you get familiarized with at least some of the basics in computer architecture. Obviously, we cannot cover an entire computer architecture in one lecture, but hopefully it'll be fun to watch as well. And we'd like you to brush up on your background because we'll require some computer architecture background. Not extensive, but you should be familiar with the concept. And if you'd like to brush up on that, there. Uh, all the 447 undergraduate computer architecture course videos and notes are at these links that are provided here as well as posted on our website. Uh, and please, please watch as many as you can to brush up on background material. And there's several lectures that I would recommend in particular, ISA, pipelining, data dependence and control dependence handling, branch prediction, virtual memory, memory hierarchy, caches and multiprocessors, and some out of order execution. You can see all of these videos. I haven't linked all of these from here, but if you go to that website, go to the links from the website, you'll be able to find those videos that uh, would be useful for you to watch to get deeper into computer architecture uh, in the graduate level. So that's basically it for the background uh, readings that we recommend uh, and require as well. The second topic, let's take a look at homework zero, which is the student information sheet. This will be up on the web, web page. Actually, this may be up on the web page when you're wa watching this video. This is basically our way of getting to know about you fast. Uh, please attach a recent picture, answer the questions, and turn this in as PDF. There will be more instructions as to where to turn this in. Please answer the questions thoroughly. We would like to, I'd like to get to uh, know about you and uh, hopefully tailor some of the course based on the interests of the people who are taking the course here. Uh, and uh, I know you're not here for grades, but all future grading is actually predicated on us receiving your information sheet. Uh, and I actually read these sheets carefully, uh, one by one, after you receive them and respond to some of them. I may not be able to respond to all of you since this looks like it's going to be a big class unless you figure out that it's a very hard co course and uh, not for you, which is also fine, by the way, if you uh, have too much load, you may not want to take this course. But uh, all future grading will be predicated on this and I'd like to get to know you uh, with this. Uh, so you might get an email uh, from me if you write some interesting things on this information sheet. And this is due September 6th. This is actually uh, 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 before we start the recitation sessions uh, uh, the week of September 9th. Okay, the third and perhaps the most fun uh, assignment is the paper review set one. This is going to be due September 9th. And there are three papers we've prepared for you. Actually, not all of them are papers, but it should be fun to read all of them. The first paper, Memory Scaling, a Systems Architecture Perspective is a paper I wrote uh, based on uh, some of the research my group has done. This was presented as an invited talk in the International Memory Workshop, which is focused on actually devices, but I provide a systems architecture perspective on uh, uh, the importance, the challenges and solution directions in memory scaling. The idea over here is basically we would like to build larger and larger memories, higher bandwidth memories, lower latency memories, and more efficient memories but this is becoming increasingly harder at the device level as well as circuit level because it's becoming increasingly harder to scale the scale down the structures uh, like the DRAM cell, for example, to very small sizes anymore. Uh, uh, very small sizes. This is because as you scale down the structure, it becomes less reliable, more leaky, and also it, cons it starts consuming more power because of that. So uh, in this paper, I discuss several directions and hopefully. This could lead you to some interesting project ideas as well. I'd be happy to talk about uh, uh, this with any one of you, but you should first provide a review of the paper. And I'd like it to be a critical review. Look for different research topics, different, research, uh, different problem areas. And I'm happy to be criticized. I'm happy to receive your critique. So don't 
uh, don't feel upset when you actually try to criticize, uh, technically of course, uh, the, the content of the material. That technical criticism is very important. But of course, all criticism needs to be nice and polite. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, the second reading that I'm assigning here is uh, Dick Hamming's uh, famous uh, uh, keynote or talk uh, at, at the Bell Laboratories, You and Your Research. And I believe this is very important for any one of you who would like to do research uh, and any one of you who would like to take a career uh, in, in industry or academia. He, basically, Dick Hamming uh, revisited Bell Labs in 1986 and gave a talk on uh, his experience in the research field, uh, uh, as he had done in Bell Labs and other uh, other places, uh, and this uh, this is a this is a very instructive reading, I believe, and there's a video of it available, although it's not very high quality, uh, on how to do research, what kind of attitude is good for doing great research, and uh, how you can actually improve the opportunities uh, that you have to do research, as well as to uh, make the most out of the the research that you've done. For example, one thing Hamming focuses on is the importance of uh, how you present the ideas, the presentation skills, as well as the writing skills, and the importance of uh, how, to, uh, how you discuss the ideas with others. This is how you can disseminate your big ideas. First of all, the importance of focusing on big problems is emphasized in this uh, paper. So it's very important uh, to figure out what are the key points in this paper, and I look forward to some of your reviews and some of your uh, 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 some of your critique uh, of, the, of this paper. Uh, and the last paper uh, is from Yale Pat. Uh, it's called Requirements, Bottlenecks, and Good Fortune, Agents for Microprocessor Evolution. This was written in 2001 and it looks at uh, how, how, uh, how microprocessors have evolved uh, until then and discusses some potential future research directions as well as some ideas. And this is another paper that could lead you to some interesting project ideas, so I would like you to think toward that direction when you're doing the review. Again, all of these reviews are due September 9th. It doesn't look, uh, it doesn't, it is not as scary as it looks over here. I know it's three papers, but the memory scaling paper is six pages, or maybe five pages. The Yale Pat paper is, again, relatively short, and Hamming paper is a great read, even though it may not look that short. There are some optional readings as well that I've assigned, and I'd like you to do these readings. And these are two seminal readings. One is Amdahl's uh, seminal reading that, where, where he introduced Amdahl's law. He didn't call it that way. Validity of the single processor approach to achieving large-scale computing capabilities. And this is a very short paper. And uh, uh, this may be required at some point, but I would encourage you very, very strongly to do this reading. Uh, it's important to go out to the original source. Everybody knows Amdahl's law. But whenever I go to places and re uh, present Amdahl's Law and ask people, how many of you have read the original Amdahl paper, I usually see a few hands. And they're usually coming from the senior professors, maybe not even the junior ones in, in the field. So it's very important to know this reading, know what the messages are, uh, and also evaluate it uh, from the perspective of 1967. The second reading is about another law that we're used to, which is Moore's Law. Uh, uh, and it's called cramming more components onto integrated circuits. Again, this is another reading where I talk about Moore's law, and I ask to the class, how many of you have read Moore's seminal paper? And there are, again, very few hands raised, again, from usually the senior professors. And this was published in 1965, and it's a, it's a fun reading as well. It's a, it's a good analysis of the components uh, at that time and good projection of what will happen to components at that time. Uh, uh, and the last reading is by Ronnie Ronan et al. Uh, and it's, it's on coming challenges uh, in uh, microarchitecture and architecture. This is again in 2001 in the same issue where Yale Pat's paper was published. And I'd encourage you to read this carefully. This is about you, uh, uh, ma mainly about uh, the challenges that were faced in the single core design at that time. Uh, so it doesn't cover a lot of the challenges we face in multi-core today. But it's, good to, it's, a, it's, it's a very good reading. Okay, and the last thing that I will talk about in this video is, uh, are some readings to prepare you for research and report writing. And I've already given you one of them, and this is already required anyway. This is part of your review set, Hamming's uh, UN Your Research uh, uh, keynote or invited talk uh, is, uh, is one that will help you uh, in doing research and writing reports. And this is true not only for computer architecture. If you're going to do research in any area, I believe this is very very good reading, and there's a lot of uh, there are a lot of great pieces of advice 
uh, in this particular uh, write-up. And uh, last but not least, I would recommend three other papers. Uh, one is Levin and Riddell's How and How Not to Write a Good Systems Paper, uh, which I've discussed in a separate video about literature reviews. Uh, the other is Jones, uh, Simon Payton Jones, How to Write a Great Research Paper Talk. We will link all of these from the website. And the last one is Smith's The Task of the Referee. That could help you to do reviews better. And I already discussed it in literature reviews. And again, that's all I have. Good luck with the first assignments. And I look forward to receiving them. And I hope you'll learn a lot from them. And you get ready uh, for a great semester uh, where you can learn a lot and where you can accomplish a lot and where you can do potentially great research projects. Thank you.